Well, uh, we are joined at the moment uh, by a student, Santosh, uh, from uh, um, the Ben Gurion University uh, in uh, Beersheva. Uh, so we have Santosh and Shweta both joining us uh, from the university. Thank you both very much for speaking with NDTV. I want to first ask you, where are you at the moment with reference to, uh, to the Gaza Strip? How far are you from there? Uh, what are you seeing around you? Okay, we are one hour away from the Gaza Strip. Okay. We are in the city of Beersheba. And uh, right now there are helicopters flowing around and uh, right now there is no attack in Beersheba. But we got to know that other southern parts of uh, Israel are getting attacked. But in our city right now there is no attack. So like uh, especially in Beersheba so far it's like uh, there's no attack. And uh, but in yesterday it was like uh, started from the morning 6.30. And uh, there was like uh, until uh, afternoon there was sirens and uh, uh, rockets been uh, like coming here over here and uh, we like uh, all the people were going to shelter. It was happening in the yesterday, but com uh, compared to yesterday, uh, right now it looks calm in uh, especially in Bersheva. Um, but uh, we are not uh, aware of like uh, what is the current situation in other cities. So it is like that. Uh, you know, I think this is a question that is very rarely asked because we're so, you know, we're always, always asking you what's happening around you and, you know, wh what are the governments, etc. staying. But I want to ask the both of you, how are you feeling at the moment? Um, are, you, are you very scared? Are you confident that since there's nothing around you at the moment, what you're hearing of an hour away, what is, how, how are the both of you feeling? Shweta, if you want to go first. It's, like, uh, it's very unpredictable. Unpredictable, it's like unpredictable, but... As the securities are around yeah. here and they're like they're roaming and uh, they're um, so there is like we feel little more safer here right now yeah. because yesterday when uh, like when we were in shelter four of the security officials came and they were like checking everything and uh, one of the person stayed with us so yeah. it was it is like safer uh, like uh, as of now as of now if I as have to say now this city is a bit safer than other parts of Israel is okay. yeah like in Regarding what we feel, it's very unpredictable situations. Which is what do you yeah. what do you want to do as Indian students who are there right now, and uh, and you know with 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 the kind of political narrative that one is seeing, with the kind of ground situation that one is seeing, we know that you know we're at the cusp of what is perhaps going to be a big retaliation. This is a situation that uh, that is unlikely to get any better before it gets a lot worse. Uh, what do you both want to do at the moment? What do other Indian students at studying at the same university? Are you all looking for a way to come back? Do you want to hold off and gauge the situation before you take a decision? Have you, are you any closer to any of those answers? So like what we believe is like Indian embassies frequently contact with Israel officials. So, so like they know uh, better than us like what decision okay. to make because I think like uh, they will uh, if they if there is need they will definitely like they are doing quick diver quick so yeah. like we are kind of uh, waiting for their instructions and relying on the Indian embassy for uh, next things okay. so are you in touch uh, yeah. with the Indian embassy have have embassy officials contacted you Do, are you in regular communication with the Indian embassy what is what is the what is the communication that you've received so far. Yeah, um, there are representatives of Indian Embassy which are uh, which who are co in contact with the uh, representative from each university. Okay. So we are in touch with them, like uh, with the uh, embassy representatives. Right. We are not. And what have they said so far? Uh, they are asking us to follow the local authorities' instruction, and uh, there is any further development, they will like uh, let us know like what to do next and uh, all the things. And they are making uh, uh, asking us to not go outside and uh, roam around uh, like whatever the people like local authorities saying. Just to adhere to that. You know, we spoke and, with uh, we spoke uh, with journalists from Tel Aviv right now who say that the, the city is in, in is is in pretty much a state of lockdown. Which is what the advisory yes. to you has been as well, right? That don't step out, yes. just stay yeah. in, follow the yes. advisories. There is a state of lockdown. Uh, you know, what about yes. things like essential supplies? Do you have enough? Are university campus shops open? What is what is it like in terms of normal life? So the university is currently it's closed. Uh, so like we didn't go. So like most of, some of the people uh, are in university dorms. Some of them are having uh, private apartments outside. So it is like uh, uh, as far as like we didn't go out of the apartment. So we are not sure like how is the situation outside. Like right. uh, the shops and everything. We are not sure. Uh, but you have enough essential supplies. Yes. 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 yes exactly. 
you yeah. have but enough. But we have, we have enough. But when the shops are going to open or when we can get our suppliers again or something, we don't know. And how it's many Indian amazing. students are there at your university? Do you have a rough estimate? Maybe around uh, 300, 400, like 400. Uh, yeah, around. Okay. around. Okay. Well, stay together, stay safe. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, we will keep talking to you. We hope that, you know, the embassy is in touch and they're, of course, the best people to advise you on what to do. Uh, thank you very much for speaking with us uh, on NDTV.